summer in the city. I'm just sat here eating Maria's green balls. <laughs> here we come, walk down the street. We get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hold on, hold on. Bad, bad song choice. Can we, can we just, let's just stop and do that again. Okay, that's better. Now I find myself at Summer in the City 2018. Finally, after many years meeting other YouTubers and fans of this ever-growing community. If anyone spots my non-continuity of my clothes and outfits during this video, I would like to highlight the fact that I was getting changed in the car park underneath the XL building and a topless half-nude Lee stood there getting changed also at many a surprise to the Jehovah's Witnesses that were having a conference at the same time. Now back to the event, this weekend was certainly an eye-opener for me. I used to honestly think that I had a fandom that would come from basically any location where I went to, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Now I actually realised that it's loads of different pockets and sets of different communities that need to be entertained and inspired across all platforms. Check it out! Major input! Input, input, input! Woo! Woo! That's good. Oh, I like that one. That one too. Boring. I do apologise for the blurriness of this photo. It was the excitement of free McFlurries. say hello to Brandon right in the minute who's just playing behind there. Um, I'll tell you something funny, I have just seen Lee Hinchcliffe and I've just tweeted this, the fact that I said hello and Lee Hinchcliffe walked straight past me and not because it, not, not, not because he's rude, just because he actually didn't see me, he was uh, in a rush. So I just tweeted basically that Lee Hinchcliffe walked straight into the McFlurry van, McFlurry van even, by mistake and tripped and fell over and that may or may not be true but check that tweet and we're just gonna go say hello to Brandon who's playing Fortnite over here I'm gonna go and jump on Fortnite now also but let's uh, see how he's doing Should I just distract him? Excuse me. I'm getting told off now. I'm getting told off. But I'm gonna go play some Fortnite at um, we've never actually done it at the start of the video before, so we've only done it at the end of our covers with that. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe and share. And I don't I don't know if but it does help a lot because we only started doing it about about six months or seven months ago. And we found out that it actually does help a little bit. Just because it's like just reminding you. If not, I, I, I mean, yeah, definitely at the end. At the start, it seems a bit silly. It's like, you know, asking to like review a movie before you yeah, watch it. Yeah, yeah. Like, After the like, trailer. Go leave us some Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> right now before you watch it. Like, I think that if you are going to ask, I don't ask. Sorry, where are you? There you go. Um, I, I don't think, I don't like to ask at all. I just leave it up to them. Because there's so many YouTubers now that just like, they spend like a minute or two minutes talking about how to hit the like button. Like, <laughs> it's like two minutes I'm just uninterested by them. I'm like, oh, I'll do it if I want it. Like, you know, just, so I just leave it up to them, is what I do. Yeah, I feel like they're more likely to click off as well, because it's yeah, the first thing to say. on about, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. my content's great, like it, share it, tell your friends, your nan's a cat, Every, just uh, shut up, like, do the video. Anybody attending Summer in the City as a creator, I would definitely highly recommend the panels and you attend as many as possible. Not only are they just pure banter and comedy, they are absolutely packed full of useful tips and information, um, just to be inspired and it gives you so, so much motivation. We're still here day two, <laughs> just been to a panel, Brandon's here, here again. 
So we've just been to an amazing Q&A panel and it's, it's really packed. Um, I'm going to chuck up some photographs. Um, we've just been to see Mickey Mouse. And I had some photographs taken with like Mickey Mouse style. I'll chuck them up about here somewhere. And I've already met a few of you and I'm going to put some of those meet and greet photos up as well. And yeah. So it's the end of the Friday night creator day. All the creators have gone home, but myself, I decided to take it upon myself to guard Lee Hinchcliffe's merch overnight. Yes, you heard me correct. I spent the whole of Friday night in the venue literally guarding Lee's merch. If anybody says they had one McFlurry all weekend, I will certainly not believe that because I most certainly had many. This is that part of the video where I'll show you a montage of highlights of the weekend whilst listening to some smooth jazz music. But definitely stick around to the end. You'll definitely see Dodie. Before I take you over to the main stage, I just want to say to every creator, be unique, be inspired, be different, be you, and just do not lose your motivation. See you all in 2019. Peace out. Oh sweet baby Jesus, this is life. I'm flashing blood. I can't attach.